Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris, and I'm here to share with you about the market update today. Number one, the U.S. technology stocks will suffer a bloodbath in 2023. There will be a possibility of short-term rebound. I'm going to also talk about the riskiness of 2023 U.S. stock investment. The outlook for the U.S. tech stocks in 2023 does not look much better than in 2022. In 2022, the industry is not doing well on Wall Street as a wave of layoffs will continue into the new year. CEO of private equity firm, the Patriarch Organization, said in an interview, there may be limited short-term beer market rally as tech stocks are oversold, but shareholders face more danger. He warned that shareholders should prepare for the more brutal technological massacre tricked by the Fed and its Terminator-like mandate to raise interest rates and eliminate inflation. Many tech companies will stage a wave of layoffs in the first quarter, and Salesforce and Amazon are just getting started. He added, Elon Musk showed tech industry leaders that most startups and mid-sized companies are severely redundant, and you can run a tech company with fewer people, which poses a further threat to jobs. And many CEO, venture capitals, and private equity firms have followed Elon Musk's example and will follow his example as well. Amazon announced Wednesday that it'll cut about 18,000 jobs, the largest in the company's history, while Salesforce announced a layoff by 10% on Wednesdays as part of the company's plan to reduce operating costs and improve in operating margin margins in a challenging economic environment. Also, the companies announcing layoffs this week are online personal stylist Stitch Fix and video platform Vimeo. Stitch Fix will cut paid jobs by 20% and Vimeo will cut 11% of jobs as part of a broader effort to cut costs, Schiffer said. The layoffs, while a challenge for employees, are very positive news for shareholders because it creates opportunities for greater revenue growth potential and medium-term stocks prices in the future. After falling in 2022, the S&P 500 may already be relatively cheap at the moment, but finding value in this market is still not an easy task. In 2023, investors should be cautious and pay attention to the quality and valuation of individual stocks. There is a saying on Wall Street that as long as there are investors in the market who have doubts about the rise of the stock index, the stock index still has the potential to continue to rise because these investors still have the potential to turn into new buyers, invest money in the stock in the market, and provide the upward momentum. Conversely, when everyone is already bullish, it means that no one may be buying next, and the in investors need to be extra careful at this time. In 2022, there are many skeptical investors on Wall Street after the boom in SPACs, cryptocurrency mining, electric vehicles, and other speculative companies and sectors in 2021. Valuations in U.S. stocks have spiraled out of control. Therefore, at the beginning of 2022, there was already a clear bear market in the market. And the stimulus plan in 2021 is also bringing many squealy micro risks accumulate, inflation climbs, and then the Fed emphasized the hawkish stance. Investors did not expect that the Fed will raise the key interest rate seven times in a row. In any case, the U.S. stock market may perform better in 2023 than in 2022, but investors should not take it lightly, which does not mean that this year will be a good year. Anchor deviation risk One of the biggest mistakes investors make in 2022 is buying stocks that look cheap after a big decline. Coinbase Global INC is a classic example. Its share price fell 90% first, and then fell again. Usually, we call this risk anchoring bias, which means that people have an initial price in mind, and even if that price changes later, people cannot update the psychological price level in time, resulting in investment failure. And as we head into the 2023 market, this risk seems persist, as the stock market still doesn't seem cheap right now after a sharp decline. And once again, the market loses its basic anchor price target. Looking ahead, based on consensus expectations, the S&P 500 is trading at an expected price-to-earnings ratio about 17 times. That's a reasonable but hardly 
convincing multiple, especially given the downside risks to corporate profits in 2023. In fact, corporate expectations have been falling for some time this year. And then we're going to talk about corporate margin regression risk. Currently, U.S. stocks face more than short-term threats like Fed rate hikes or a recession. These factors aren't that important in the long run. Wall Street's biggest concern right now is actually the return of businesses to normal values after the explosive growth of the pandemic. Right now, corporate margins are at their highest level in 70 years. And even in a highly inflationary environment, U.S. companies have been able to pass most of the increased stocks to cost to end customers. At least so far, most consumers are willing to put up these increases and continue to spend. At some point, however, things will change. If the current evaluation of the market is based on a more normalized profit margin indicator, then the mere return to normal could drive the market to a sharp decline. Assuming the margins return to a pre-pandemic level, the S&P 500 will currently be trading at more than 20 times earnings, a multiple that reflects relatively flat multi-year earnings growth. However, U.S. multinationals are dealing with a sharp strengthening of the dollar, and the worst impact will occur in 2023. At the same time, these large companies have a greater competitive advantage because their local competitors in various countries around the world calculate their revenues and profits in local currencies. In addition, global supply chain issues remain unresolved. At the same time, the specter of a global recession looms, and sometime in 2023, U.S. consumers are bound to feel it too. Overall, it is hard to be optimistic that U.S. equities remain attractive in the current macroeconomic climate. The market seems to be cheaper than before, but risks are everywhere, and they're not cheap from any fundamental point of view. Moreover, market sentiment has not signaled a bottom. 2023 will be a challenging year. Investors need solid analysis, flexible trading, and patience with to achieve a better returns in the face of extreme risk in, over, in the overall market. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next episode.